Hi. In this session, uh, we are going to learn about how to set up your web development environment. So, one thing that we would like to get started with is uh, making you familiar with something called Node.js. I'm sure you know if you are doing some amount of web development today, this is something is not new. So, it's basically nothing but a JavaScript runtime and in the examples that I'm going to show you to set up your web development I'm going to use Node.js as a runtime and try to run my application on top of it so in this particular session we will see how to install Node and after that few other utilities which will come handy in case of developing your web application so let's get started with the installation itself to install node you can do so I'm using Ubuntu and node can be installed on um, your Linux Unix and Windows or Mac operating system so at this in this case I'm using Ubuntu so the instruction that I'm going to show here is Ubuntu specific but nevertheless you can always go to node.js website and uh, start seeing how to install stuff so I'm going to install with this command so I'm going, going to do apt get install node.js and this just does the things for me so basically what it says that I'm already having a node.js installed and what it found is like it seems to be the version that I have installed is the latest and greatest one and there is nothing like that it has to remove anything or upgrade anything so I am fine but in your case if you don't have Node.js installed what you will find basically uh, things are getting installed and uh, at the end Node.js will be installed so once you install Node.js one other one another uh, add-on or one another library that we would require for our web development is called Node Package Manager or NPM so let us try installing NPM So I do a apt get again to install npm and possibly I get again the similar kind of message because for me node and npm both are installed but in case you have not installed and you are running it for the first time you will get it installed. Once I am done with this installation the next part that I do is basically create some kind of symbolic link for node you know uh, so that uh, from terminal wherever you uh, run you get those node as a kind of command line keyword in your all the command line instances so to do that I just create a s symbolic link from user bin node.js user bin node so see that so as I told you again you know it is kind of I'm done already so it says that it, it exists so I'm done I'm kind of done with the installation and in my case nothing actually got installed upgraded because things were installed but in your case if you have not installed already you will get it installed and how to verify that you just need to do this do node minus V you get the version so this is perfect for me and you can do npm minus v and you get a version right so I have node and npm both are installed in my machine okay so if you have noticed very closely when I've installed node and tried installing node it, it, it told that that I've already installed node and the version was 4.4.x 4, 4 but when I do node minus v I actually get version which is bit lower 331 why so it is because I have multiple version of node installed in my OS and this is very essential when you do a development programming because you might install a very advanced version of node to do certain programming on node but you know certain libraries which are still not compatible with 
the most upgrade version of node and you really want to downgrade your runtime node to make those uh, libraries working and that is the time you will badly feel with the fact that you should have multiple version of node installed and you can really switch among them at ease right so the next tool or next utility that I'm going to showcase here will allow you to do that so the next utility is about uh, something called node version manager or NVM right so I'm going to install NVM and I'm going to install uh, one more node version with NVM and I'm going to show you how you can actually manage multiple node versions using NVM right so to do that uh, again in Ubuntu uh, I'm, go I'm going to show you but there are uh, there are support for other operating systems and you can easily get them right uh, so as a matter of best practice when you try to install a library probably I should have shown you from the earlier cases also you always make sure that you are running with the latest update so let us do that so I'm trying to get the latest update and I'll give it some time so it will run through all the update and kind of um, get me things close to done it's at 98 percent and I'm sure that it will be done in a while um, so while it's do doing the update um, not necessarily that you have to do this every time but it is a good practice when you install something you pull out pull down from the update packages and then try to install your stuff right so once the upgrade is done uh, it's almost done the next thing that we are going to check for is something called uh, build essential so the build essential package um, I, th I think it should already be installed however you know we are going to still include in our command for installation um, to see whether things are there or not so to do that what I'm going to do is build essential and I am going to try installing this it was installed because it seems that I have already installed and in most of the cases it will be there right so the next command that I am going to use it's about to kick off the NVM installation now before I go ahead and do this command to install it let us go to the NVM website once quick here you go and we can go to github we will have more information and the current version of NVM that's what I'm, I'm interested in searching I'm sure that will I will you know get it somewhere um, I, I hope that is uh, the current version is something like 0 0.33 or uh, something like that you know uh, so maybe we can go to latest version of in NVM and I can see I think the version is 0 0.33.3 yeah so I got the version now and let me just go over to command prompt and try to do a query um, which will bring the bring the stuff and install for me so I'm going to use this particular URL right and Um, this is where we start giving you know the version uh, maybe 0 0.33 dot 0 slash install dot sh so if you have noticed in this 
वन You know, you have I installed or sh? I'm basically invoking this one and try to install using a curl command. And once I do that, I'll have an NVM installed, you know, in my Ubuntu box. Now, one thing that you might have to do is like either you once you install this one, it will uh, prompt you to close your terminal and open again. And you can do that, and that will add NVM um, into the into the class path, uh, into the path, and then then probably you can start using them. Otherwise, you just if you don't want to do that, you can as well do this command so that it it gets added to your um, you know profile stuff. And after that, as I've already installed, you can always do NVM my hyphen hyphen version to have nvm install yeah i have installed 0.33.0 right so we have nvm install now as we have nvm install what are the power that nvm gives me right so let us start uh, realizing that so when i do nvm use i can actually use the version that are that is kind of installed in my system right so i have couple of version 4. 4.x and 3.3.x uh, and I can use either of them just by mentioning the uh, version number and if I try to you install a version uh, maybe 0 0.10. pretty old one 12 I do nvm install and if I wait for some uh, some minute maybe a not even a minute uh, well before that you see here you know it's going ahead downloading the nvm and uh, np and a node version and i'll have 0 0.10.12 install in some time so once i install that so I now we'll have three version of node running on my machine and based on my need i can really switch among those node version quite easily just by specifying the version like nvm use version number I'm going to show you the switch in a minute as soon as this installation is done. So I highly recommend that if you're doing web development, have this tool installed because you will need it eventually, you know, when you are trying for multiple projects and they don't have a compatibility with a single version of Node.js and you really want to switch them uh, based on your need. So this is done. Now, the node version that I have currently is 0 0.10.12. You see that? Now, if I if I'm going to use NVM use maybe the version that I had, I don't exactly remember what was the version I had. So it's, it's saying that uh, you know this version I don't have. Better you use it. Better you install it. So I go ahead and kind of install that version, and then I can do the switch quite easily. So um, that is a way that you know I, I manage my um, node using NVM, and there are plenty of um, help commands which you can uh, really use uh, to see the st stuff, right? I'm not sure there is a command called LT list or something. You know that might be equally useful if it is there. Yeah, so I have it. So I have version like 0 0.10.12. I have 3.3.1, and I have 4.7.3. I have 6.9.5. All this stuff installed. So if I can quickly do nvm use 3.3.1. And right now I'm using 3.3.1. So if I do node minus v, I'm using 3.3.1. So this is the way you can switch. Hope you like it. Um, we'll meet again in the next session.